Well, new at 11, honoring our heroes. Every year, Kentucky recognizes local veterans who have served both their country and their community when they came back, inducting them into the Kentucky Hall of Fame. Today, we learned about the inductees into this year's class during a ceremony with a sight that brought some to tears. On the steps of the state capitol, bagpipes coupled with the distant hum of planes overhead. Everyone's eyes turning to the sky. I did a lot of research to find a, a veteran from Kentucky who had passed on this day. And unfortunately, there's one for almost every single day. There's a lot of guys and girls that have died in Iraq or Afghanistan. Sam Deeds is one of 25 inductees into the Kentucky Veterans Hall of Fame. Today, he's the ground spotter for two paratroopers landing on the lawn of the Capitol. Today's performance is dedicated to Marine Lance Corporal Chase Comley, who's from Lexington, Kentucky, who was killed on today's date in 2005. Marine Lance Corporal Comley signed up to serve just one year before, killed by a suicide bomber in Iraq just three months before his tour was up. As the 2,000 square foot American flag waved in the wind, tears of pride on the ground below. On the bottom of that, the big American flag, there's a 32 pound weight. That guy's coming in anywhere from 15 to 25 miles an hour. We can't safely catch that flag, so the flag does hit the ground. But nobody here is like, hurry up, get the flag up. It, 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 they are just very appreciative. Oh, man, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Amen. Today, as I watch the American flag coming down, as well as the other parachutists, I'm reminded of the sacrifices that have been made for this country and the bravery that our men and women have in uniform have shown for us, and I am eternally grateful. Mm, just incredible, right? The Kentucky Veterans Hall of Fame induction ceremony will take place September 6th and 7th at the Marriott Griffin Gate Hotel and Resort in Lexington. This will be the sixth class of the Hall of Fame with 120 previous honorees, and you can still reserve a seat until August 26th. We've got you all linked up on whas11.com.